Hi guys, it's time again for yet another half-assed, half-brained, not thought-out idea. Um, yeah, so uh, what was I messing around with? Yeah, I was I was, I was playing with uh, seven-segment displays. Been playing with these things. I like them. I think they're really cool. And I thought, well, yeah, seven-segment display is fine, but surely it can be improved on. So I had this idea. So I drew out, roughly, I'll just zoom out, okay that's the wrong way, so I had an idea to, let's, let's, let's go big, you know, go large or go home. So what I've done is, um, I, mean, I had this idea a few days ago, WS2812s, why can't these be used? I'm just laying them out roughly here so I'm not taking any notes of uh, orientation obviously I've got a couple of different types here let's go over the different types quickly uh, so you can see what I've got um, these came on a strip obviously well they all come on strips obviously these um, you got a lot more density whereas these three LEDs are actually classed as one dot so I'm not going to use these ones because each LED is a dot I'm going to use in my box of junk and tricks and stuff here. So we'll get seven of these. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And um, lay them out on a board. So I've made a roughly out here. Uh, obviously, you've got to take into account things like uh, polarity, uh, the a, B, C, D and E. So each segment is known as A, B, C, D and E. Uh, A, B, C, D, E, F, G I think it is. Uh, I can't, off the top of my head I'm not sure what it is so I'll probably be pausing and googling just to verify everything. And then what I'm planning on doing is as you can see, you see what's happening here. Um, as I say, not taking much notes of the arrows right now and I do already have one with a small header on the end that will be going in the right place eventually. So yeah, I thought well that's going to actually be a lot better and if you get a piece of Perspex over there that'll look really cool. So what I'm going to do now, is now that's the gist of it, is I'm going to go away, tin the ends, uh, also verify where A, B, C, D, E, F and G go on here and will I need a dot? I could use um, one of these for a dot. I also have these here, so I could tear one of them off and use that as a dot. A uh, couple of different options which I'll have to have a look at. I'm also tempted to actually put dots at the side. Um, why? Because if I wanted to I could make a number of these and then make a giant clock. Um, I'm going to see if I can interconnect them. You know, put an interconnect on the back or something like that so that you, you, these become modular and you can just keep on adding them on. Uh, so obviously you have a number one and then you would you move along um, and then probably look at writing some code or a little class to actually uh, work it but with them being addressable WS2812s um, that's actually going to be quite easy so um, I'll be back shortly and uh, hopefully I'll have something interesting hey guys back again okay so um, Music in the background, a bit of copyright free music, hope you don't mind, I'll turn down a little bit. Just makes it a little bit better when you're trying to work and think and all that kind of thing. Just going to put that there so you know who I am, not that you could forget, I would hope. It saves people stealing the work as well and going, yeah we made this, when they didn't. Okay, not that anybody probably wanted this. As you can see, I've, uh, I've used sticky back tape, uh, double sided tape, apologies. Uh, laid it down, laid the tracks on top. Um, I did mention earlier that um, each segment uh, are actually lettered and this is how they are lettered. You got A, B, C, D, E, F, G and your dot is DP which I've not implemented on this one as yet. Um, how have I connected it up? Well I've just used copper tin, uh, tin wire and connected it all through and then made some extra jumpers just to power this center a little bit and made sure that my data has followed the path so this is segment one two three four five six 
7, 7 segment display, so A, B, C, D, E, F. I will be able to reference that in code as we go along a bit later, but this is just to get it going. So, it's all connected up. Uh, I don't know you can see this here. Um, what I'll do is I'll quickly do a diagram of how it's how I've got this laid out. These are 12 volt um, LEDs, WS2812Bs. Um, so the way the wind diagram is, is we've got data, uh, so plus 12, and ground, and data. So the ground is going off to a separate supply, we'll bring our data over here. So what I've done there is I've also put a cap in between, so I've got a thousand UF cap just to quieten things down and make sure so that goes off to ground and 12 volt power supply okay the data comes in we come in through a resistor into the Arduino oh so so we'll call it microprocessor in this case it's Arduino I know I'm going into pin D7 I'll put a 220 ohm resistor in there just to um, just to protect the Arduino from any transient currents or anything like that that might cause damage. Also on the Arduino we've got a ground pin and I've connected in the ground pin into there so we've got a connection there. Excuse my drawing, a little bit, well I was going to say a little bit rough. It takes rough to a whole new level but hey never mind. The general idea is the data pin goes to a 22 ohm resistor to pin D7. In my case you use whatever pin you want, you configure it in the software. The power comes in through a 12 volt power supply the, um, I've just put a capacitor in there to quieten it down. 1000 uh, UF capacitor. Can't remember which one, which side the thick line's got to be on, but hey, just make sure if you, it's polarised and you've got it connected up the right way around. Negative again, connected into the Arduino. And, um, well, let's switch the lights off. As you can see, the Arduino's running. And we'll switch some power on. There we go, so that is a strand test uh, by Adafruit or Adafruit um, I'm just trying to find a piece of paper which is always the same when you don't want it it's there but when you need it it's not there uh, that's how I tend to get into trouble anyway I should have somewhere a, anyway, I, can't, I can't find it if I do find it in fact I'll pause the video and I shall find a visor of some sort just to diffuse Hey folks, here we go back again, found some paper, disaster averted. As you can see, yeah, okay, so that's right, quite a blurry mess that one, but once it slows down, you'll see that you actually get a relatively decent pattern. You when you say something and all hope that it's gonna slow down, so I'll reset the Arduino, there we go, the Arduino's reset. And there it goes, nuts again. So when you lay it down, you can see the individual LEDs quite clearly, but when you lift it up slightly, just five millimeters or so, it diffuses quite nicely. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to write a quick sketch, then I'll hope which will hopefully cycle through the numbers one through to ten. No, I can't make ten. One through to zero. Hi folks, as you can see, I've got the sketch written and it's there. And yeah, that's quite effective. In fact, really pleased with that. This is just a half second delay counting up one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, zero. And that's with two piece sheets of paper and one sheet of paper. You can adjust the brightness in the sketch if you want to, or you can add a, um, a little pot and map it out that way, uh, which I might go through next. But and then without anything. Yeah, it doesn't look too bad. So what I'm now thinking of is... Let's just switch that off. So, where we go through, we actually finally end up here. Now then, I could really... Um, put a connector on the back so that I could butt up another piece again so there's exactly the same one again um, and just call it, follow the data line through if that's one method I could do 
Uh, just trying to think of ways of extending it up to six or seven modules, so then you can count up to a million if you want to do your YouTube subscribers or your know, uh, eight figures for the for the uh, big guys out there. Uh, that would look quite cool, wouldn't it, with your subscriber list up there? Um, yeah, quite awesome. Very pleased with it.